What's up everyone and welcome to part 2 of my walk around Bali. Yes, you heard that right. Together with my friend Ryan, I walked 166 kilometers from west to east Bali. If you haven't seen part 1 of this epic adventure, make sure to check this out. In this final part of our epic adventure around Bali, we get completely lost, have to fight the insane heat, we find true undiscovered paradise and much more. Have fun watching and please do not forget to like and subscribe. All right, today is day four and Ryan is joining me again for the walk, which I'm super happy about. We have to walk a lot of kilometers today. I'm guessing it's almost 31 kilometers. So that's why we got up early and we're gonna start this day. I feel pretty okay. My blisters are quite okay, so let's go. So big bonus point of today, we have a sidewalk here in Luvina, guys. This is pure luxury. I love it. And the sun is out. It's very out. The sweat is starting. We're walking on a very busy road, actually, as you can see. And lots of cars and trucks passing by. And it's not very nice to breathe at this moment. <laughs> such a beautiful sight to see. Farmers here are harvesting the rice in the back here and it's so beautiful because we have the rice fields, we have all the birds flying away, and then we have the beautiful mountains in the back with the palm trees. It's a really, really beautiful sight now. Yeah, we're now entering a more local place and all the locals are still really surprised to see us. They're asking where we're going. It's potato samosas and they look so good. I'm gonna dig it now. Okay, sunscreen is on. It's time to go again. We are in the middle of Sigaraja and it's actually really, really busy. There are a few sidewalks, but other than that, we have to walk on the street with all these cars and bikes passing by. And I think we now are at seven or eight kilometers. So the thing that I'm noticing is that when we are in a bigger city, people are busy, we have less interaction with the locals. And if it's a less crowded area, people tend to be a bit more friendly and we talk more with the local people. So right now we are in a big city, we just keeping our walk on because not much to discover here actually. Really in the big city now, look at all the electronic stores behind me. There's so many stores here and it's really busy. It feels like I haven't been in a busy city in ages. I am getting really, really tired today, I think, because yesterday I was very excited about the walk and we did a lot, but yeah, it's now kicking in. My legs are really painful. I'm gonna keep going, but the mood just dropped with 10%. So I need something to cheer me up. Ryan has a good idea, so I'm gonna be surprised and see what it is. One thing that can definitely not miss when you're in Singaraja is the Singaraja beer. And I'm gonna try it now for my first time. This was only 33k. Yeah, it's not expensive at all. 
You think it's better than mintang? Yeah, because mintang is like It's quite okay. Yeah, like It's quite okay. It's got more of a hoppy taste. I like it. I love it. It will get a 9 out of 10 beer wise. This is good. One thing that I think is actually super interesting about Singaraja is that it's Indonesian for Lion King. And this city is also the old capital of Bali, which I had no idea about. It has a population of 105,000 in 2020, and it's the second largest city of the whole entire island. Singaraja was the Dutch colonial capital for Bali and the lesser Sunda Islands from 1849 until 1960. I had no clue, but it's definitely an interesting fact about this town. That was lunch. Right now we are making making our way out of Singaraja because it is really hectic, it's really busy and I just want to get out of here. It's gonna be quite some walk but we're now on the way to the most northern part of Bali. To be honest, I'm not feeling that well. I'm gonna keep on walking, not film too much and I guess I'll see you there. of the entire island of Bali. We are here right now. It's really interesting because we see lots of chickens, we see pigs, people have their laundry all here on the beach and they all live here alongside the beach. So we met a lot of local families already. I'm actually really surprised with how interesting this beach is. There's so many locals living here on the beach and they all have their boats here. There are a lot of boats, as you can see, and they're just living here and enjoying life. But I don't think many foreigners come here because we're getting a lot of looks. Everyone is coming out, getting their families to come and see that there are two foreign people walking on the beach. But this is definitely a really, really interesting place. All of these kids here, they're watching us. They're posing for beautiful pictures. So we are taking some amazing pictures. Let me show you how beautiful this place is in three, two, one. or four kilometers of the day. How are you doing? Uh, my feet hurt a lot. My feet yeah. really, really hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting them up and taking my shoes off. Oh, same. Yeah, the feet are hurting. My stomach is still not doing too well, unfortunately. It's really nice. All the palm trees here. This is really what I love. It's super green and it's not too crowded at the moment. Uh, yeah, okay. so Gili Manuk Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's okay? We can do it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> he thinks we can do it. That makes one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <Actually>. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. 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 <laughs> You're a superstar now, aren't you? Yes, famous white man in Bali. <laughs> Just checked Google Maps and it's 11 more minutes. It's 900 meters. So we are coming to the end of this walk and it's much needed because the only thing that we're talking about right now is how tired we are, how much pain we have in our feet and how we are looking forward to arrive at our accommodation so we can have a little rest tonight. I love this local transport in Bali. Oh, there they go. Hi guys! We made it. I can't believe we made it. It's the end of the day and we are here now. This was much needed and it looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna cool off and I'm gonna show you guys this place right now because this is insane. I 
do have to say this day has been a really hectic day. My legs are full of red bubbles. I have again a sunburn, but I'm really happy to stay at this beautiful place. It's now only 20 mil per month for four people. So if you are in North Bali and want to spend a month here, I couldn't recommend this more. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful villa. My room is up here and Ryan's room is up there. So we're going to spend a really good night here and then I will see you guys in the next morning. morning and salamat pagi today is day five already of this crazy adventure and today we have to walk all the way to Klaptek which is around 20 kilometers so today is a little bit of a better day and I'm really excited for this because I had such a good night of sleep in this beautiful villa it's time to pack the bags and keep on going day five I'm gonna kick butt today fresh back on the road again we left a little late today so we have to keep on going but my feet are actually quite okay today i have a little bit of pain in my stomach but ryan over here he's starting already my right foot's good but my left foot really hurts so uh, hopefully it just warms up So right now we are walking literally on the highway. There's no sidewalk whatsoever. So we really have to be careful with the trucks. People are beeping at us all the time. My mom would not approve this if she would see this because it's quite dangerous, but we should be fine. I think there's gonna be a sidewalk anytime soon. Then we will be a bit more safer. I feel like we're in fairyland. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. What do we have here? Some poor little cows in a van. You actually see this so many times in Bali. It's either cows or pigs and they transport them in little trucks like this. I don't know where they're going. I don't want to know. Oh my God, you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The beeping is insane. I've never had so many cars, trucks, bikes, bicycles beeping at us. At it's us, just, yeah. sorry, it's just quite annoying to be honest. Walking here in North Bali, and this, what's your name? Kadek Pasha. Kadek, he says that you know people in Sutta, right? In Holland? Yeah. That is where, that's really close to where I live in the Netherlands. That is amazing. Heel erg mooi. Heel erg mooi. That means very beautiful yeah. in Dutch. Wow. Uh, for me to come there, heel moeilijk. Yeah, that makes sense. Heel moeilijk. You speak yeah. a little bit Dutch. Yeah, I like it. I like all language. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, it was really nice to meet you. By, by the way, what is your profession in, in Holland? YouTube. YouTuber? YouTuber. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> turn out good. Oh yes, they turn out really nice. Oh, that is amazing. All right, All right. thank you so Thanks much. Country. Have bye a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. The really sad thing about Bali that most of the street dogs are in really poor condition and there are so many of them so it's for us impossible to obviously help them but this is definitely a huge problem in Bali and you can see they have like their skin is gone they probably have so many diseases and I feel so bad for them but at the moment there's nothing we can do we just ran into one of my subscribers hello hello what's your name my name is Ricky Ricky nice to yeah. meet you don't forget subscribe yeah yes thank you so thank much you're welcome. See you. Have a good day. Yeah. Hello, where are you going? We are walking from Gili Manuk to Ahmed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you nice. so much, Ricky. Bye bye. Yeah. Whew, we are six kilometers in already, and this went by really quickly. We're really on a roll this morning, so that's good. And now we see the first Indomart coming up, which is always a luxury to have here. This makes us always so happy. Indomart. Ooh. Every time coming into an Alpha Mart is just the best thing ever because there's aircon, there's snacks, there's food, and we get to cool off for a minute. Mm -hmm. 
So I have mango juice, I have apple juice and some coconut water because I really need it. I bought some bread for the dogs that I see on the street so I can give them something because they are in really poor condition. And we have Ryan over there. I have Coke Zero, Red Bull and Aqua. You're such a guy. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I haven't seen Red Bull in Mali before so maybe I just haven't been looking but... Well, enjoy. <laughs> Right, that was really nice and refreshing and now it's time to keep on going. I think our next stop is going to be at our 10 kilometer point. So it's around four kilometers that we have to do right now. I was quite happily sitting down resting, but now I'm being summoned, so let's go find out what's going on. Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> I got invited inside to drink coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told them you're my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, took a five minute rest, then I've been summoned, and now I'm in a relationship. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, it'll be fun. Okay. This is the thing that I always do. I love talking with local people and there was this beautiful street. I went inside and there's this lovely lady. She offered me to get some coffee and that's what I'm doing right now. So we're here in her house. We got invited and she made me this black Bali coffee, which I'm going to drink right now. My Bahasa Indonesia is at this level that I do understand a little bit what she's talking. She's asking where I'm coming from. What's my name? So I can say that to her. And right now I'm just going to enjoy the coffee together with her and try to have a little conversation. <laughs> You can see all the kids that are super curious. Hello, da da! They're coming to see what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. Terima kasih banyak. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa besok. Terima kasih ya. Da da. Da da. Experiences like this is literally what I live for lately. I love it so much. Obviously my Bahasa Indonesia is not good enough, but I understood most of the conversation and she was so nice and she offered us some coffee. I think we went in there for 10 minutes, had a good conversation. We were in there I think a little bit too long, so now we have to keep on going to get to our 10 kilometer point. 141 kilometers away from Dampasar. See this all the time. And now it's 141. That's a lot of kilometers away. Oh yeah, two kilometers from Tianya. We crossed our 10k mark, so we're now already walking today for 10 kilometers. And every day when we pass 10 kilometers, my body's getting tired and tired. It's now just a matter of time until we find a nice room where we can have some food because my knees are hurting a lot. And yeah, I'm now getting pretty exhausted already. So we're at half of the hike, which is really good. We do need a good rest now. Current situation, we're walking. We're really tired, but there's not a room to be found. I think we are now in a really, really local area. There are only some super small food stalls where we cannot sit down and we really need to sit down and rest a little bit. It's only more like this, like local markets where they sell some food, but nothing that can fill up our stomachs for lunch at the moment. It's gonna be a search game until we find a good food place. And then uh, me goreng, nasi goreng, tidak, babi, nasi champu, uh, ayam, no. Okay, makasih ya. Food, 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 makan, this is what we need. Oh, and there's seeds, and there's ayam, I think. Better than pork because I don't eat it. Oh, this looks really nice. This is what makes me so happy right now, a small room with seeds. We found it. There's little kids sleeping right there. Probably it's a house as well. <laughs> but yeah, we need this. I actually don't know if anyone is here. <laughs> Hello, permisi. 
Oh, there's no one in the kitchen. Okay, there's no one in the kitchen. And there's only a little kid sleeping in the room. <laughs> and there's probably no one here then. I will ask the neighbors. Someone is helping us. Ah, hello. Oh, terima kasih, banyak. Hello. Komisi. Toilet, Tisana. Okay, terima kasih. So this is the toilet. And it's literally the toilet of their own family. So this is, they have their own stuff in here. This is amazing. It cannot get more local than this. This is what we need. I have me goreng with ayam with chicken. So hungry. All right, we just had lunch, which was absolutely amazing. And now it's time to keep on going. We only have nine kilometers left, so let's go. How are you feeling? My hip hurts. Your hip hurts? <laughs> yeah, aye, aye, aye. not as bad as the other day. This is actually really interesting. So here to the right, we have Kintamani, where Mount Batu is located. And this is more the cold area of Bali. And we have to keep on going straight to Amlapura. This area is straight up gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Literally the mountains here and then with all the green, this is absolutely amazing. We are currently walking in a really small village close to Tejakuja and there are a lot of beautiful temples here and all the locals are again really really friendly asking where we're going. So we're actually having the time of our life now, it's so nice. Mm, hello! Salamat makan! <laughs> Time to keep on going in the rain. We have to say goodbye to our tree and our lovely friend here. They're making satay ayam. Terima kasih ya. And while we are walking in the rain, I just got a text message from one of my really good friends. And he's actually gonna join our walk for the last couple of days. He's on his way here right now. And I'm really excited when he's gonna arrive. Susan said that she doesn't know the longest word in Dutch. Who doesn't know the longest word in their language? <laughs> Who does? <laughs> we guarantee you every British person will be able to tell you the longest word in the English language. What is it? Anti-establishmentarianism. <laughs> what does that even I mean? I have no idea. <laughs> that makes it even worse. But I know it's the longest, <laughs> the longest English word in the dictionary. Anti-establishmentarianism. I see my friend walking across the street. He came, I think from Chengdu, he came all the way here to join us and it's the one and only hey. Damien what's up guys how are you babe good to see you oh my god are you tired you saw yes I'm really really tired oh my god. but that's when you come in right I'm gonna give you guys new energy okay? <laughs> yes it's amazing that you came all this way you know what we, we drove the car um so I'm that's gonna, really nice I'm, I'm gonna drive with you I don't know if the rate it's pretty heavy rain yeah it's a lot of rain I might actually. drive with you and, and maybe help you out with some nutrition and some uh, energy what do you think that's that's what we need. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now that Damien is here, it's time to eat some satay that he just bought us and catch up with him a little bit because I haven't seen him in such a long time. And we also need a break because it's already 3 p.m. And I think we only have six or five kilometers more to go, so we should be fine. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is cute. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute and so tiny. Oh, baby. This was really nice seeing Damien. He's not gonna walk with us. Hello, guys. Hello. He is gonna go ahead with the car and take care of some snacks for us on the road. So that's actually really nice. He is. <laughs> Mr. is always full of surprises, huh? The gift of the day is a little bit of a durian snack. I'm not gonna eat durian, Damien. No durian. See, no that's durian. durian. I just really don't want to. 
Can we get a yes? Three. You know what? That's okay because I'm gonna finish this off. But that's okay. I'll try it. David. Guys, that is so good. So Even the thing. smell. I Never. Just... <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I tried. It's like. How oh, could you <laughs> just? <laughs> smell it. No, I don't want to. Smell it. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. No. We will see you, Damien. No, this is a no for me. Really don't like it. All right. See you okay. later. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. Enjoy your durian. See you on the next one. Bye. 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 Thank you. Just saying, because every time I see Damien, he wants me to try durian, and I keep saying no. It's the only thing I refuse to ever eat again. I just hate it so much. I'm so sorry for all the durian lovers. At the moment, there's so much rain, and yeah, we need to walk through, but it's actually quite hot because I'm wearing my rain jacket, and yeah, everything is just getting wet. The big trucks are passing, and they're just like spraying all their water on us. Not very good, but we'll keep on going. I keep trying to hide from the trucks because they literally splash on so much rain. <laughs> And it's just okay. I'm gonna. You are an absolute one. <laughs> oh my god! I hate you. Oh, you are the worst. Ryan keeps pushing me towards the road so that I get wet and he doesn't because I have a rain jacket. The absolute worst. What do you have here? Well, I got a box of meatball thing and a chicken foot. Are you gonna um, eat it? No, I don't know. Ryan says it's pretty good. Five out of ten. So he's gonna five out of ten. I'm gonna check how good it is. Ready? Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty good, it's man. It's very hard though, right? <laughs> you got to crush this It's like bones. eating through bone. Well, it is eating mm. through bone, yeah. We got there though. Well, I wouldn't say I'd eat more than one. No. Maybe one. Okay, there, there's another one in here. I don't really want to eat that Oh one. my god. All right, so we are now just sitting here chatting with the locals here a little bit. Damien is eating his soup Bakso. with chicken feet in it. And we really needed this break because I think it's only two more kilometers until we're there. So this is definitely a nice setting to spend some time in and to just relax for a little bit. I think two or three. Two, I think, yeah. Two, we're gonna see. So we're gonna pack our bags, we're gonna say goodbye to Damien for now and walk very quickly because I wanna be home before the dark. Terima kasih, ya. Dada. Sampai jumpa. Terima kasih. You guys have no idea how happy I am to see this sign. We made it to the Holloway Garden Resort and Spa. This is where we'll be spending the night. I'm so tired. I was struggling today a lot. As you can see, this is a sign right above me and I think it's now still more like maybe 500 meters or something and then we will be there. This was a really wet day as well. I'm completely wet still from the rain, which is not a nice thing. This is what the final part of the road looks like. Very bumpy, a lot of stones. And here some local people are making some music actually. It's really cute. We have the, f the last five meters. We see Damien, we see the staff of the hotel there. They're all waiting for us, which is actually really nice. This is probably the warmest welcome we've had in a while oh my god we made it a welcome string by the one and only <laughs> at Holloway Gardens we arrived guys <laughs> Hi. thank you so much <laughs> amazing oh this looks so beautiful Thank you. I do. Oh. oh how's the towel? Out it's of 10, how's that towel? 21. 21 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is much needed. <laughs> mm. So we just came here and the brother of the owner of this place actually knows my hometown, which is Maastricht. And you are married to a woman. Yeah, I've been, uh, uh, I married with in Maastricht uh, and uh, I lived there also for four years. So we know the place together. We, I'm sure if we talk later a little bit, we can also find places where we have been together. Exactly. And what we exactly know and we are knowing what we are talking about. This is <laughs> such a coincidence and this only shows how small the world is like I'm up here in North Valley and I never expected that someone would know my hometown here. 
So what we have here is four rooms next to each other. Here we have Damien, <laughs> then we have me, I have the butterfly suite. And then next to me, we have Ryan who has the frog suite. <laughs> and we are in front of the pool and then there's the ocean. This place is so beautiful and I will show you right now. So yes, this place is absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy to stay the night here, but I am completely exhausted. 20 kilometers today, it was quite intense. My legs are painful right now. So I'm gonna have dinner and I think I'm gonna have an early night tonight. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next morning. from Holloway Gardens. Right now I'm standing next to the ocean. We just had an amazing breakfast. Today is day six. I am super excited to finish this. The only thing is today we have to walk 40 kilometers. We were too excited when we were planning this trip. We thought 40 kilometers would be fine. Now I know that this is not possible. So today is gonna be a big adventure because we have no idea how we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna take you guys along. And right now I'm gonna enjoy this view for a few more seconds and then we'll start walking. waffles are so nice. I'm gonna take my fourth waffle of today. They're so nice. Thank you. They're all amazing. I might take one with me. <laughs> the waffles here in the morning are really good. Oh my god. This is a good way to start the day. Time to leave this beautiful place. This was so nice staying here. We started our walk again. We're now walking towards the end of the street, but we managed to figure out a car that's gonna bring us 10 kilometers up ahead because otherwise it would be way too far to walk today. Uh, so that is actually such good news for us. <laughs> otherwise we would arrive, I think midnight today. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, 10 kilometers. And then from that point, we'll try to walk and see what we come across. Yay! It's long. Okay. What's this kind of ride? <laughs> open the window, then I can open it. <laughs> Figure it yourself out. Open it up myself. All right. Here we are in the car of Damien. You are an angel, Damien. Ooh. All right. In this car, Damien even provides us with water. You need to become a Gojek driver, Damien. <laughs> Gojek, good price. I will give you 10 plus. This is really good. Yes, I will. And now it's time to enjoy the next 20 minutes in this car, which is such a luxury for us. Let's get into the heat. I keep on walking. I think we're gonna walk now until Tianyar, which I have no idea how many kilometers that is, but that will be our first stop. So that's gonna be really exciting and I feel good. So let's walk. Yeah. Ta-da! Sampai jumpa! Apa kabar? Bye! Bike! Wow! Bagus, ya? Terima kasih. I actually bought the other day some bread to feed the street dogs because they're all in horrible condition. But most of the dogs run away from me. It's difficult. I have the bread here. Let's see if he eats it. It's okay. I threw it there. Maybe he will take it. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run away. Let's try that again. The dog is really scared of us. Oh, and there's one more coming. Maybe I'll just throw it down. I'm gonna put the bread down here and then see if he eats it later on. Chin succeeded. The dog is eating it. Yay. That makes me really happy. At least one dog is less hungry now. Look at him. Yay. That is perfect. Oh, nice local market going on here. That looks so nice with all the vegetables here. 
So we are now at this local market. It's always happening in the morning here and we are luckily early. And this is, it cannot get more local. So we're gonna see what they have here because this is such a nice way to connect with the locals again. Okay, we are now, I think, one and a half more kilometer located away from Tianyar, which is not too much, but we are sweating like crazy. I think this is the hottest day up until now. So we are literally a walking waterfall, but just have to keep on going. Look how, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I am so drenched in sweat, but it's all part of the game. So we just entered Tianyar and the heat is insane. It literally feels like we're in a desert at the moment. Hello, hello. It is so insanely hot and this is because actually Tianyar is one of the hottest places here in Bali. We also have here the Savanna Tianyar, which in the hot season it can literally turn into almost a desert. So the heat is at the moment our biggest enemy, but we're gonna keep on going. But it's definitely an interesting fact about Bali that the temperatures can differentiate so much. We're trying to escape the heat by taking a quick break at Indomart. We don't need anything, but we just needed to cool off, but it's not working. So insanely hot so just gonna keep on walking now and see if we can somehow find a spot with more shade Ryan is sweating so much and he's trying to wipe off his sweat on my shoulder I've been in Tianyar before and I regret it so much not coming to Savannah Tianyar. We made it in the heat, but it's very disappointing because there's no Mount Agung whatsoever. And normally you have this beautiful view here at Mount Agung. It's a little bit disappointing, but here we have Damien again. Hey! There he is. Welcome to the Savannah. You live here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a tool guide. Uh, Amazing. 100,000 entry. Yeah, Got you're it? not getting it. That's my, that's my paper. Okay. <laughs> That's how you get your money nowadays. <sighs> Somehow it feels a little bit cooler to walk around here because this walk was insane. At the end I didn't even record anymore because I was sweating so much. And I, we were telling Ryan and I was telling each other that we thought we were going to faint because it's so hot. It's not very good now to walk around here because it's so hot. But there are cows here. There is a little tree and we met up with Damien again. So we're going to have a little bit of a break now and see if we can cool off for a bit because this is really, really intense. Fit in with your cow boy hat like it's literally as if you live here if you guys don't know this but Damien lives at Savannah Tianyar this is his house currently you enjoying it beautiful up here you want to come up yes I'll come and visit you more often I will have a look okay I'll have a look come up oh but this is loose no <laughs> Wow, Damien! I think, I think this fits two people, right? Yeah. Oh! Whoa. This worries me! Oh my God. This worries me a lot! <laughs> this worries me! Ah, this concerns me that there's two of me. I love how stiff you are, like... <laughs> Guys, I'm not relaxed right now. <laughs> that panics me. I do not... Yeah. Listen, <laughs> we need to remember there hasn't been a tourist here probably like for many years. They haven't, they haven't dealt with two tourists just sitting here on this thing for a while. This tree's not ready for us. I thought you lived here. Yo, <laughs> by myself. <laughs> by myself, not with you. This little nest here is very comfortable. I like it. Thank you for inviting me in your yes, house. Uh, this is my toilet there. I'm yeah. Just straight down the hole. <laughs> Um, that's my bed. That's uh, your bed. I just lie here flat. Nice. You could lie down. Actually. If you don't mind, I really like your house, but I'm gonna leave. It's a studio. It's okay. Not, it's not a one-bed. It's a bed studio. Room. <laughs> Wait. Climbing down the nest. You should renovate your apartment, Damien. Yeah, this is. Bye. Bye. Very nice visiting you. Well, that was nice visiting Damien in his house here. 
I'm very itchy now. I think a lot of things bit me. I said it a hundred times. I keep saying it. The heat is killing me. It was rainy, calm down. Yeah. A little bit sure. No okay, problem. no problem. Uh, this is a Brazil type. Oh, there are okay. three type. Uh, honey mango. Yeah. Arumanis mango. September Agros is, is pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, if rain is a little bit sure. So, okay. Yeah. Let's sit down and try. Damien, mango time. So funny, I told him, the guy that, he's here at Savannah TNR. What's your name? Deep? Yeah. So I told Deep, that's his name, that I like mango. He's like, yeah, I'm a mango farmer, but normally the season is in August, September and October, but he now has one mango. It's a little bit sour, only but we're gonna still. try it anyway. <laughs> Yay, only one at the moment. He drove all the way to his house to pick it up. It's a little bit sour, he you said. Tried it already. No, because okay. it's not the season, so. Okay. I don't even know how to cut this thing. There we uh -huh. go. Uh -huh. There's a slither. Oh. There's a slither for, for, Can for, for, for Susie. Slither her away. Try the mango. It's not mango season right now, guys, but mango it season. looks good. It does look juicy though. Henna? Oh, God. Ooh, a naxicali! You like mango better than durian? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Aromanist type Amazing. mango. All right. It's time to leave. We don't want to leave this place, but thank you so much, guys. Sampai jumpa. I will see you in September, yeah? Thank you. Bye. <laughs> We need to go to the toilet and this is how it looks like. So I'm really, really hoping that this is a decent toilet. <laughs> I wonder why I always am surprised and disappointed that this is the toilet here. Because today is insanely hot, we decided to take the car up to Kubu because Tianyar is such a hot area. It is not very smart to walk now in this heat because it's the middle of the day and we are not feeling too well because of the heat actually. So the car is now a blessing with aircon and we will see you in Kubu. Just you and me now. <laughs> We're gonna walk to Ahmed. Hello! It's just us walking again. We just got dropped off at a gas station and right now we are walking. It's around 10, 11 kilometers left to Ahmed. It is the hottest point of the day. Guys, this is insane. These spiders are literally elephants hanging on a tree. Like, I haven't seen spiders this big in my life. And I'm like shitting myself right now. They're huge and they're eating something. This spider is literally eating something just as big as the spider itself. But they're huge anyway. <laughs> they're scary. <laughs> Let's leave Spider Town very quickly because I don't want to have a huge spider sitting on me. We just had to turn left. So we're now leaving the big road and we're walking on a really small road into the jungle it looks like, but we're heading towards, towards the ocean. I think this is going to be walking in the middle of nowhere, but let's see. Yeah. The sweat is so real, like it's crazy and we are now walking inland. It's really, really steep and curvy. You don't really see it on camera, but it's taking a lot. The roads are actually so hot that it's coming through my shoes on my feet. So it's actually hurting a lot. The sun is out and it's probably two or three p.m. We're not very smart today. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, I might have messed up the Google Maps. Always happens when I put my navigation on, I somehow mess up and now we're walking on a road like this. I'm not sure if we're walking the right way, but we're gonna see. We'll find out. The thing that I did differently is that I put on the walking thing on Google Maps instead of the driving. So we're now, I think, taking a shortcut, but it's like a really, really shortcut. As you can see, it's not a very nice road to walk on, especially at the end of our walk. Luckily, there's still dogs and chickens, so that means that people live here. So we should be fine. <laughs> Such an interesting road, but Google Maps says we're a little bit, oh, that we need to turn left here. So this might be working. It's just a very 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 dodgy little tiny road that we have to walk on <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> Hot. Yeah. Very hot. Very hot. I know. For you. We're on the way to Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so wing. Yeah. And outside, yeah. Okay, so we're going the right way. Oh, thank you so much. Have a good day. Hati hati with the heat. Yeah. Right, we're on the right way. We just got confirmed by local workers here. We are off the gravel road, which makes me really happy because I was actually starting to get super worried. And the road that we are on right now, it's just a fairy tale, guys. It's so beautiful. There are mountains everywhere. Look how green it is. There's a little river next to us. I see rice fields. It is stunning, but again, middle of nowhere. We're entering a main road again, so we don't have to be worried anymore. We are getting super hungry and dehydrated and I have a big sunburn, so we need to find a room soon. Just walked all the way along this road with no shade whatsoever. Finally see first place where we can have some food, so I'm gonna eat and recharge because we still have six kilometers to go. Food just arrived and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy right now. This was so nice, but it's now time to get our last kilometers in and I cannot wait to arrive at our destination. It is time! Look at the sign, what I see here. Our goal, the end of this trip, Ahmed, we made it! Six days, 162 kilometers later, and we arrived at Ahmed. We just walked this entirely insanely long road and we made it. I'm gonna walk up to the beach now and feel all the joy that I want to feel. Here we are walking up the Ahmed beach and I already see Damien welcoming us near the Ahmed sign. I can't believe that we did it. There he is. Oh my god! Hey, I can't believe it! We made it. <laughs> are we gonna high five? Yeah, we are. Oh my god! I love Ahmed! We did it! We did it! Oh, <laughs> that's what he did. That feels really happy, really happy now actually. <laughs> Ahmed Beach. I can't believe it. We did it! All right, it is currently the day after we arrived in Ahmed and this night we spent the night in the Grija Villas which are located at a beautiful location here in Ahmed and we had such a good night of sleep here. These villas are pure luxury and we really need it after this long, long trip. I've been enjoying myself here so much. As you can see, we have a beautiful infinity pool and the rooms are absolutely beautiful. It is a private villa you have in this small resort and I couldn't enjoy myself more than what I'm doing right now. This trip has been really, really amazing. I experienced one of the most highs and lows I had here in Bali. It was definitely super challenging and I faced a lot of struggles during this trip. My absolute high during this trip was definitely the local people. I can't believe how welcoming and how beautiful all these local people here are and how loving and giving they are. Even if they have not much themselves, they're willing to offer you coffee or food or whatever and they're always smiling and always saying hi to us so that definitely made this trip super special i think your indonesian improved <laughs> my indonesian improved big time and for me it's definitely it keeps surprising me how loving and how giving the locals are especially because they don't have that much themselves and yeah. they still offer you coffee and food and it's just such a heartwarming thing. They just thing, want to give. You know? They just yeah. want to give and it's really really nice to see. Yeah. I thought I would do way worse. You only had two blisters. I, had two, I had two blisters, yeah, and I sometimes had like pain in my feet. I think I got like in the middle of the trip, I had like pain in my stomach and I was a bit sickish, so maybe that mm. and my blisters, but overall it was quite okay. Would you recommend people to do this walk? Well, I'm gonna sound like a crazy person, but I actually would because you get to know Bali in such a special and different way. Like it's so normal to drive around your bike and just take everything for granted and now 
I don't think I ever had so much interaction with the locals, so I actually would recommend it, but then just take it easy. Do maybe 10 kilometers a day or, or five kilometers a day. Uh, yeah, I think I agree. I also think beware of the heat. The heat is a killer. Yeah. And I think we ended up walking, I ended up walking probably about 130 kilometers and you ended up walking about 140 kilometers. So out of 165, I think that's pretty good. I'm really, really proud of what yeah. We did. <laughs> we did so good. <laughs> so now that I'm here in Ahmed and in this beautiful villas, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna take a rest. I wanna thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. It means so much to me. And please do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.